This is an art attack. This is an art attack. This is art attack. <laughs> Slayer, ready to strike at any time. Then again, some just sit quietly in your bedroom. <laughs> Great, isn't he? Come and have a look at this. Now, a pet dragon deep down inside is really just a kind of paper sculpture. So, to get started, all you need is some cardboard box card and newspaper. It's really easy. First, just scrunch a few sheets of newspaper into a sort of rugby ball shape and tape it onto a piece of cardboard box card. Now, this will make the dragon's body and the base for it to stand on. Now, the rest of his body bits are just more bits of card and scrunched up newspaper moulded into different shapes. It really is quite easy. To make the neck, you need to cut out a sort of banana shape, simple as that, from cardboard box card, and then just pad it out on both sides with some newspaper, and you put plenty of tape around that. Just tape that bit there to show you. Just doing it really quickly. You can take some time with it. And place it on one end of the body, like that. Then for the tail, scrunch up some more newspaper into a tube and make it pointy at one end, and that goes on the back there. For the back legs, make sort of chicken drumstick shapes, you know what I mean. So it's a fat at one end and scrunch it there. And again, put plenty of tape on, and you can even roll up four small paper sausages, like that, and just tape them together for back claws and tape them onto the back of your chicken drumsticks or the back legs. Now, do two of these and put them into position at the back of the body. Then, for the front legs and feet, you need to roll two more sausages of newspaper and then just carefully snip into the end of each one to create four claws that splay out. Just snipped in there and, again, just tape them into place and pop them on the front like that. Now, you need to make the dragon's head with those nostrils. And this is where the really clever bit comes in. Close a double sheet of newspaper and just loosely roll it up from one side, like that. And the idea is to just fold it in half, like that, and scrunch those loose ends together to make a slight point and tape them into place. And then, once you've done that, just fold it in half again. I'll do it slowly to show you, look at that. Fold it in half again and pop your finger through there to create a loop and to create a mouth and nostrils. Good, eh? And when you've got all of these newspaper pieces, the idea is to tape everything into place. And when you've done that, you should have something that looks like this. I've taped all of the body bits and the feet to the board with lots of strong tape. All the bits are together using loads of tape and you can even bend or sculpt your paper into shape like that and add more tape to keep everything in place. You can't use enough tape here. So now that you've created your basic dragon shape, you need to add some extra details. Now you can add as much or as little as you like using small bits of paper and cut out card. You really can jazz your dragon up. Look what I've done with this one. I've added on some ears, again, cardboard, scrunched up paper eyes, some cardboard jagged teeth in there, a forked tongue, a pointy end on the tail down there, nice and sharp, some scales, Look at the wings here, and I've even glued on some string for veins. And when you've done all the detail, it's a good idea to strengthen your dragon with even more tape, and to make it really strong, use PVA glue. And here's a good effect. If you add some black paint to the glue, squeeze it in like that as you go, you can slop it all over your dragon, like this. Just slop it on into all those nooks and crannies, cover the whole thing, and when you've covered everything and the paint and glue is dry, look at this. It's really strong and you're now ready to paint on your dragon's detail. 
and start the detail with a thick dry brush and just dip it into other colours and just gently dust it over the black like that to pick out the detail. I'm just dusting it on very gently. I'm going to start with this nice dragon purple. You could use silver on the scales for a metallic skin effect. Or how about shimmering bronze on the wings? And it gives them a nice shiny finish. And don't forget to do your base as well. And look at this, I've painted on all the details like his eyes, his teeth and his tongue. And when you've finished, there he is, your own pet dragon. Isn't that fantastic? And of course, you can make any kind of dragon you like. Just stick on different details and paint it any colour you like. She's a bit friendlier, isn't she, eh? <laughs> Try it yourself. Make your own pet dragon. Oh, that art attack is hot! Hello? Yes, it's me again, the head! And who'd have thought that such a mysterious, mythical beast could be made from newspaper, cardboard, sticky tape, glue and paint? And guess what? I've got my very own little bit of that art attack with me right now. Do you want to see it? Scales! <laughs> and don't worry if you didn't catch that, because you can check out the website for details on how to make your very own dragon and all the other art attacks in the show. Oh.